Hello and welcome back to another game between Jon Snow and FedEx. FedEx actually changed colors from the game before. He was red before, now he's blue. Jon Snow playing in green again. And with an interesting uh, match here, I can see already two reasons. First of all, it's Mayans against Franks. And most uh, players would agree that a Mayan player has a uh, huge advantage here, uh, Sith wise, because Mayans are considered one of the best arena uh, Siths at all. Also, one of the best Siths in the game, of course. Uh, it uh, should be interesting to see. Second thing is, um, sure there's a wolf on the, the edge of the map. We can see no back bases for any player. There's FedEx in blue is the Franks. No back base, can't go anywhere. And we have Jon Snow with the same thing. Uh, thing. And that's uh, I haven't seen that too often. I think it's uh, rather rare. Not sure how much the percentage it is. Maybe a map scripter can can tell me that. Doesn't really matter because we're going for uh, what I hope is going to be an interesting match. And I'm going to start with Jon Snow's map here. While we can see Boris outside and Jon Snow might try and go for a steal. He's scouting already, but I think he will miss the boar. Let's see if he can see it. Mm, I doubt it because it's... Uh, oh, it's so close. Look at this. And if you can, can see the walls now, you might go for it, but he... No, he's going the other way around. So, FedEx won't lose a boar here, at least not too early. And the other boar is inside, good for him. Already going to push the deer, sending the sheep inside. You can see the scout axing there. Jon Snow laughing, can see this. Uh, all fine now. And I think Jon Snow won't find this boar, so no boar steal today. But let's go for the map now. And we can see Jon Snow main gold on the side, more or less in the back. FedEx saying, I'm dead. Not sure why, maybe he saw the Siths now. I uh, can see, oh, there's an e Eagle Warrior. It doesn't matter if it's Aztecs or Mayans. I don't have the best counter Sith here. But main gold is uh, safe in the back. And then we have the main stone also. Yeah, that's pretty safe. Second stone just outside the woods, as well as the second gold. Third gold on the other side of the map here, also outside. And we have extra berries, the two boars for Jon Snow, I think inside and four deer very close to those berries. Look at this, that's almost map hacks. In addition to that, there's two relics inside Jon Snow space, which is really awesome for him. He could go defensive castle, boom, get the relics, or maybe even push. Let's see what he's deciding to do here. And going for the second bull right now. Really, really good map for him when you uh, consider that he doesn't have a back base. That's really good. Uh, if he had a back base, it would be even better, but uh, who cares right now? And then we go for FedEx, main gold, interesting uh, form, shape here. It's called shape. Uh, can fit one mining camp here, one here maybe, or maybe get a mining camp here, TC somewhere. Mm, uh, it should be fine for him. It's on the side, so not to the front, not like here, where his main stone is almost. But on the side, can be attacked. But let's see how Jon Snow is going to play it. Jon Snow is going to steal the main goal, I think, and the second one as well, which is just outside, close to the other one. Third goal outside on the uh, completely opposite side. And just from that, I think FedEx map is a little bit worse. Also the main stone and the second stone close to each other and to the front here. Uh, he's got a lot of nothing in his base. He's got uh, one boar outside. He needed to delete the wall. Right now the Eagle Warrior is going in. And I think FedEx might send a villager and wall this. Could be an option. While Jon Snow is going all around. He tries to wall it towards the TC. Interesting. Let's see what Jon Snow is going to do. Uh, FedEx got Loom, uh, which is a good decision here, mm, saying idle, my friend, and uh, yeah, not sure why, maybe the villagers on the walls here. Mm. The loom, the dumb, yeah, there we go. And right now, no, Jon Snow is not going out, taking the first hit, 3 HP less, uh, 47. And now FedEx sending the scout here, another quick wall there. And the Eagle Warrior will go down, because the scout is a little bit faster, there we go. FedEx, Jon Snow losing the Eagle Warrior, but you can see most of FedEx map. You could see the main gold here, you can see there's no more golds in, the, uh, in his base. So you can assume that the other gold is somewhere around here. And that gives Jon Snow a huge advantage, I think. Both players up to Feudal Age. Jon Snow... Uh, same amount of villagers, but one population behind, of course. Meaning he's a little bit faster, actually. FedEx lost 21 seconds compared to him. And FedEx not going for the deer. He just pushed one in. I think he had four. He should have gotten one deer. And he to go, has to go for a few more farms. Jon Snow with a lot of wood in the bank. Not sure why. And he's going with the villagers now to take the deer, expected really. Uh, he's on stone, three villagers, he's on gold, 
only two villagers but resources looking fine for him and <laughs> I'm not sure what about this wood it's not really good for him mm, could go for more villagers on the stone right now market blacksmith should come up any second there we go and FedEx gonna reach feudal age right now he's going same thing market and blacksmith coming up for him not sure what his, what his plan is actually he's not going for stone and um, I think Chen Snow Start now, yeah, and, uh, FedEx on the two relics. Actually, where's the other relics? There's one on the left, close to an extra gold. And there is one in the middle of the map, a little bit close to FedEx, and one on the right hand side. Actually, pretty pretty fair, uh, those three. So, those three, oh my god. Uh, but the two relics inside the base, that's a little bit hex. There's an extra gold on the right hand side as well. Both players up to Castle Age. FedEx again a little bit behind. And Jon Snow using the Palisades to scout a little bit. He will see that, um, yeah, he can see the villager on the stone, so he knows FedEx will have stone, might go for a castle here. Mm, Jon Snow will have enough stone for castle as well. He's doing horse color right now. And Barracks is up. Interesting. So he wants to get Eagle, Eagle Warriors out. Um, not sure, he's not doing archery range, so I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be Eagle Warriors. And six villagers on stone, so he will have enough to get a castle. And where's the barracks? Oh, looks like we're going to see a castle drop from him actually. He's sending the villagers right now. Now we need to go on FedEx point of view. Of course, here's the scout there. You can see the, the villagers taking the deer. And I think he's discovered. Yeah, you can see the villagers right now. So he knows the castle drop will come. And he knows villagers on the left hand side means they won't go for the gold, but rather for a stone. Sending the villagers right now, hitting the scout. FedEx saw it going back here, but uh, staying close with the scout. Seat workshop coming up for. FedEx immediately while outpost for Chun Snow. What can Chun Snow see actually? Can see the out and the siege workshop right now. And going for the castle. Mm, <laughs> FedEx saying GB. <laughs> that was good. And he's blocking the, the castle. Look at this. That's so good. Very, very strong. Just now Chun Snow can start and build the castle. That's in 1730. He's got six villages here. And FedEx going with the watchtower. Manganel is out. Oh, this could be interesting. We might see Chun Snow be in trouble because. Once FedEx opens the walls and hitting the Eagle Warrior right now, uh, he can hit the villagers here. Of course they have Loom, but still that's a huge point. Mm, Fletching is done for FedEx. No, not yet. Tower might be just in range of the villagers here. Let's see what's going to happen. And the Manganel first hit on the villagers. That's one going down, four going back. Only one villager is working now. Another one down, that's not good. Uh, no Manganals out for Chen Snow here. I'm going a little fast again. Eagle Warrior going down, and the scout is there. The monk trying to convert the scout, but four villagers are down already. Only two left. Siege Workshop now coming up for Chen Snow as well. And FedEx short. He's going to repair the Manganel. No, he should wall the castle in, in my opinion. Mm, Chen Snow on 31 villagers, FedEx on 33. Another watchtower coming up for uh, for FedEx. Wants to make sure that the castle cannot be built, but he should really stonewall this in. A uh, few stonewalls would be fine. Or maybe even a house or something. And he's going to do that right now, going for the stone walls here. Chen Snow sending a lot more villagers, doesn't go for any extra TCs. And he wants to get this castle finished. He also got the Manganel out now. Two outposts next to each other. Nice shot for Chen Snow, hitting the first Manganel, uh, which is down. But the towers here are hitting more and more villages. That's already f like another three, four villages down. And he's losing the others as well. That's not good. Chen Snow laughing is on 25 villages now. And the cost is still not up, 92%. Few Eagle Warriors coming in, but FedEx with the two towers and now starting to wall the castle in. Really, really in a good position now because uh, look at this. He's getting even a second and third TC up. He's got a relic in. And and he will be able to wall the castle in, so Chun Snow doesn't really have a chance to finish this one now. Mm, the Manganel might hit the villager. Yep, there we go, it's down. Only 380 HP, so we might see Chun Snow finish this castle. <laughs> FedEx saying, please. <laughs> it can't be. And, oh, second castle coming for Chun Snow. He's got enough stone here, actually. He had enough villagers and stone to get a second castle up. And I think uh, FedEx might. Oh, we might even stop this one, let's see. But losing the Manganel, that's not good. This castle will go up only to the two monks here, but against the Manganels, not really a chance. The villagers are going back, and the castle 92% once the stone wall is down, only 372 HP. Uh, Jon Snow will have two castles. I'm not sure what he can do with it, actually. He has not go uh, hasn't been going for his uh, own relics until now. He has not any plumed arches out because no castle for him. 
He is 15 villagers behind. A lot of eco uh, damage here because he couldn't go for more TCs, couldn't get more villagers. And of course, FedEx and the relics. Let's see, does he have two? One, that's one relic inside. Yes, are still on the side here. Now the cast is up, the tower will go down, Felix trying to put a gate here and I think he will have enough stone to get his own castle, maybe a little bit more defensive, maybe close to the main goat, be in a nice position. And now the tower will go down, one will here to repair the mangonels, the piece of stone will also go down and this, yeah, one villager is close, so this villager will be able to finish this castle. Jon Snow should go for... Plumed Archers now, I guess, but he doesn't really have the, the eco to do so. In my opinion, he should go a second TC because he's too far behind the villagers. It's really not good for him. Uh, at least replacing the Melamba camp, that's good. But needs to go for relics now, one point, and I think he needs to get a second TC. Mm, he's got 117 stone. He's got enough stone actually to do it. Getting the relics now. First one coming in for Chun Snow here. And the gate is down. The siege workshop will go down sooner or later. And now FedEx doesn't look too good. There's an Eagle Warrior out, but uh, we'll go down to Castle Fire. There we go. Three months who cannot convert the mangonels here. I think no redemption for Franks, at least as far as I know. And if Chun Snow is going aggressive now, he might be able to do enough damage to get back into this game. But FedEx uh, at the same time just booming behind this, mini booming, and the castle coming up defensive position. Good one. Jon Snow, I guess he's selling stone because he uh, is collecting stone with six villagers, and resources for him looking really good. He wants to get up to Imperial Age apparently. I'm not sure about this decision. I think he should wait and stay in Castle Age. Castle Age aggression, aggression would have been a nice uh, option now. Double uh, castle production on Plumed Archers and maybe a Siege Workshop forward. But uh, like this, he he is gonna try and click up to Imperial Age, FedEx, um, good amount of food and gold behind um, and uh, short to click up to Imperial Age and Chun's not clicking up right now on 33 villagers which is not enough in my opinion. I think he should have gotten the second TC up first and then go to Imp. But let's see what he can do with this. We can see barracks now for, uh, for FedEx. FedEx might have a few... Uh, Rams in the siege workshop. No, it's a mangonel. Ram coming up now. And I'm not sure if we realize that John's not clicked up. Barracks is there. We're gonna see stable most likely. Yeah, there we go. Double stable being dropped. We have three TC still and a little bit of an eco on the left hand side. Main eco behind the castle now, which is good for him. Also, uh, walling this with the houses. Um, Felix saying yes, not sure what that was about. Uh, where are they? Uh, stream it, uh, stream announcement. Not sure what they we were talking about. Didn't see it. Missed that one. But Plumed Arch is now inside. Gonna kill a few villagers. That's one villager going down. The two stables are up. Might lose a second villager, maybe a third one. Shin Snow gonna micro. Yeah, that's two down. Three going down. Uh, but still, more than double the amount of villagers for FedEx here. Boat Canaro coming in for Chun Snow. FedEx going for knights most likely. Yep, there we go. Chain Barding Army being researched, so he wants to have the plus two knights. Of course, bloodlines on the knights for free, or the plus 20% to be more precise here. And uh, do we have plumed archer production? There's a few plumed archers out. Uh, also, those uh, that are raiding the gold now. And there we go. Uh, gold is really, really exposed here. But the knights plus one for now, gonna have plus two, are really strong against the plumed archers who have only the plus two. Bra Once process is there, uh, and the plumed archers should be able to compete. One knight being converted. Good job by Chen Snow here. A lot of rams uh, coming out now because Siege Workshop has low HP and we might see Chen Snow, no he doesn't have enough resources to go for trap right now. Mm, probably wants to go for more plumed archers first, wants to have the army out. But uh, similar um, numbers in army, FedEx even a little bit more. Of course FedEx uh, not able to click up for now, maybe wants to stay in Castle Age just a little bit longer. Not wants to try and get a castle down here. But uh, his uh, advantage will grow because he's still on 3 TCs. He will be able or will have production. He stopped village production actually. But I think he should uh, should go again because he has almost no gold. Now there's the engagement. The rams are there. Mangandal went down, but uh, one more Mangandal for for Chen Snow. The FedEx has to go back. Also, three knights were converted already. That's at least three. So the rams will go down and uh, failed push from FedEx here. And FedEx uh, moving out on the right hand side now, getting more stables. I think he wants to stay in Castle Age and try to fight in the Imperial Age army. 
of course not elite plumed archers, but plus three plumed archers with um, with castle age army. Of course, he can go elite skirmishers and uh, seeing the archer ranges, it looks like he wants to stay really castle age fight against imperial age. And Travis out for Jon Snow, which is good for him, but still only 33 villagers. Jon Snow is not producing any more villagers. Uh, he's going for them just now, and I think uh, one TC. Um, Power play push situation whatever you need to get uh, your TC going because uh, you really need the villagers every villager so villager you have more is gonna pay off like you know, ten times I think but it's not uh, not easy to play and I don't say I'm an expert it's just a little bit of my opinion of course when you go full all in uh, you might stop the villager protection at a certain point. But uh, like this, I would have preferred to see a second TC for Jon Snow. FedEx still ahead, and he's done elite skirmishers. Of course, knights plus two, and elite skirmishers at least. Fletching is done, should go for Boatkin very soon. And Castle in the meantime is down for, for FedEx. Uh, two traps were enough here. And good amount of army now for, for Jon Snow at this point. Also two monks here doing a very good job. Third trap is out, and let's see, what can FedEx do here? Jon Snow low on resources, he's got enough for a third castle, and he might put it just in front of the main stone from, from FedEx. But FedEx resources looking good, he could click up very soon. But I fear once he's doing this, he might fall behind too far. And you can see Jon Snow is moving forward right now. At the same time, FedEx raiding the stone for Jon Snow. And there's a lot of villagers going down. He was on 37, but now losing more and more villagers. And he's back on 32, no, on 34, 33. And losing a lot of villagers here. That's not good for him. That's something that should not happen. And we can see the forward now. One pedal is coming out. At the same time, Jon Snow is moving forward with the castle. And the monastery is going down, so he will have all the relics uh, in the end. There is one still here, he might not be able to grab that. But he will have four relics if he's gonna grab it. And the castle will come up. It's a little bit out of range of the main gold, but still a um, good fighting position here. Uh, stables will go down. Chedex now trying to engage. Now he's going back for now. Can't really engage, this does not have the numbers. Mm, at the same time, the traps are going to hit everything that's in the range. Uh, TC was uh, is going down, and the stables will fall as well. And there's one TC left for FedEx. There's a second one on the, on the left hand side being rebuilt, and he's walled this up. But the house is down. I think the traps uh, destroyed the house, and the plumed archers might go in soon. And at the same time, FedEx has built a new base on the right hand side, just missing a few TCs. There's one on the second gold here, uh, but that one might not. Uh, standing, be standing too long because Jon Snow already using the traps to hit the TC here. 34 against 93 villagers, but the trebuchet is, of course, Imperial Age technology and the plumed archers with plus 3 are a good army, are a good combination. I'm not sure how this is going to end. Scorewise looks really close, and FedEx losing a lot of units now, or at least a lot of buildings. The problem for Jon Snow is he can't really count at the elite skirmishers. Um, fighting plumed archers against the elite skirmishers, that's some, something you don't want to do. Especially seeing that FedEx um, like pretends to be imp and is just going for army, army, army. He doesn't really care about uh, the car Imperial Age. He's trying to go in here. Jon Snow revolving, but the ram is there. Mm, the Manganel hitting the first villager. Jon Snow might even lose the second. That's not good for him. Same time, plumed arches and traps are destroying buildings here. Um, Manganel one for one, but now there is no more Manganels and villagers coming here. Um, Battering ram still on the wall. That's 40, 400, 500 HP. The knights are waiting, and now the pedal was in action. And there we go. Um, wow, quick wall here. Let's see, another ram is there, but no, there's a hole. There's always a hole, and the knights are in. Knights are in right, right the eco. Um, a few Manganel shots here. Same time, a few buildings being destroyed, the traps of course still in action, and Manganel is out, hit the elite skirmishers, good job. Mm, left hand side not being raided, it's now going for a stone here, but more and more buildings being destroyed and FedEx losing more and more. Oh, we should go for the wood line, use the knights, go for the wood line, but he, I think he didn't see it, he didn't see the wood line, he should have gone for it, it's really exposed here. Instead, he's going for a plumed archers, which Jon Snow sent back, of course, to defend his own base. Um, that needs to push is stopped a little bit, at least. But it uh, could have been a way better rating. And seeing that Jon Snow only has 31 villagers, gonna lose another one here. Only 30, uh, 29. Mm, 
Yeah, losing another one. Uh, he's on such low eco and that I think FedEx still kind of has an advantage because he's got a functioning eco with 100 villagers. Only seven of them are idle. The rest is working and look at the wood, wood count here. That's uh, 1k7 wood for FedEx in the bank. He can go a lot of farms with that. That's what he's doing right now. Also going for TC here. Mm, Chen Snow in the meantime revolt this. He's destroying the siege workshop. I think this battering ram will go down very fast. And he might focus on the push now again. There we go. The traps are moving forward already. I'm mm, gonna start and hit TC as soon as he can see. And that's a little bit far forward. And the villagers will start and hit the first trap. Yeah, that's one going down for sure. Mm, Chun Snow might kill a few villagers uh, in change of that in exchange. But the ram is there as well. And I think we're gonna see a second trap go down. And that's rather expensive to only kill one TC now. Uh, third trap. No, that's gonna be uh, staying alive. FedEx in the same time moving in again. He's used the ramps to uh, get through the walls here and now a lot of elite skirmishers, uh, elite skirmishers and the ramps moving forward towards the TC for Chun Snow and we remember that's his only TC. If it's going down he doesn't have any more. FedEx with a good amount of resources now. Chun Snow a lot of stone in the bank and he would have enough to get a second TC almost but it doesn't look like he can defend here. And the plumed uh, plum archers trying, trying to micro here um, and the Manganel, of course, good against the elite skirmishers, but the Rams are moving forward now. Uh, Plumed Archers, nice positioning, uh, trying to block the Rams here. Very good, double shot. Uh, the TC is down, and Chen Snow is without TC, so he will have no more than 27 villagers. Lost another one there. And will the Ram go down, or does the Manganel? See, Mangana. Oh, it's going back. The ram is gonna hit it. Yeah, there we go. That was not good. Uh, another shot from Mangana would have been good for Chen Snow, but now he's gonna lose the plumed archers. Still rams inside his uh, original base. I'm not sure where he's, he's got any eco. He's got 25 villagers now, 5 idle villagers. That's another of those. And he's got few in gold and, and, and wood, probably, but has to build a castle now in between the, the wood line and the gold to get, uh, secure both, both resources. And FedEx, although he's in, uh, not in the score lead, he's got almost triple the population and he's still in a good position. Now a little bit of raiding coming in for Chun Snow. He's got plumed arches on the left hand side, plumed arches on the top here. That's a lot of dead bodies here. And FedEx, I missed that raiding, I'm sorry, but FedEx back on 70 villagers was focusing on Chun Snow's base, which, while well, there's actually nothing, nothing going on here. And Elite Skirmish is on the trap now, the trap will go down, same time the TC is down and FedEx has not realized this, now he could see losing more and more villagers. He's down on 63, but he has one, two TCs, and the third one on the left hand side. He's still got three TCs, so he can compensate for that. And he's still got a good amount of resources. Jon Snow losing more villagers, even because there's lead skirmishers. And the wood line is not secure. Jon Snow needs a lumber camp close to the, the castle, and actually needs a TC, which he can't afford, really. He doesn't have a market, so he can't really, uh, can't even buy some some wood or anything. And although he's in the score, it doesn't look good for Chen Snow here. He's tried to one TC push uh, to its best, but uh, Siege Workshop coming up now. He's still got a plumed archers, which are a good unit, but against the lead skirmishes, that's not good. And gold is gonna run out sooner or later. Of course, Chen Snow with the four relics, that's what's keeping him alive a little bit. Um, but without the market, he won't even get plumed arches out because and there we go. And there's a few more dead villagers, and those are running really far to get the, the wood in. Mm, without wood, you can't get plumed arches. I think he needs to get a market very soon. And the plumed uh, the elite skirmishers again trying to go for the plumed arches, trying to go for the monk. Yeah, who cares if there's, a, if there's a castle? I'm elite skirmisher. You don't scare me at all. On the right hand side, FedEx got his uh, new base, he's going for Chun Snow's gold of course, because he needs gold income. Now TC went down, FedEx going for a new one, but plumed arches are moving in, FedEx and 64 villagers might lose a few more, I think Chun Snow microing, yeah, it's 4 down. Now he's going back, just to make sure he doesn't lose the plumed arches. Elite skirmishers are there, they're trying to hit the trap and it's going down pretty fast actually, and this TC won't fall because the elite skirmishers are too, stro too strong. Uh, and there we go, that's uh, one last trap again, that's 200 gold, 200 wood uh, down the toilet. Now FedEx going for more siege on the right hand side. 
and even the siege workshop still in Chun Snow space. The castle for now is standing, but no farmers for Chun Snow, no TC, and he's on 22 villagers. Uh, Felix still a triple amount of villagers, 66, that's not too many. But uh, how do we want to reinforce uh, Chun Snow's position? He's got a lot of gold and nothing else, and he still does not have a market, which he desperately needs. I think he should sell the you know, stone then, and there the market uh, was planned, but uh, elite skirmishers are there, and I'm not sure about this position. It could go behind the castles, would be f be safer. But uh, right now he can't finish the market, and elite skirmishers are going uh, going towards the back now, so we'll be able to finish this. If FedEx realized how important the market was to some to turns now, he would have stayed here, would have made sure it wasn't going up. Like this, like this, John Snow now can buy whatever he needs, and I'm interested to see what he's going next because he could go more plumed archers, but against the lead skirmish are really not good, and he is buying food, he's selling stone, and this elite eagle warrior coming in. Oh my God! Seriously, I'm not sure about this. He's trying to counter elite skirmishers using elite eagle warriors. The general idea is good, but without any eco, 21 villagers, he's, lo he's lost another one. How do you want to afford elite eagles? How do you want to afford the gold? This gold is running low, and there is four relics, of course, but uh, there won't be enough in the long term. He's now sending villagers to get uh, FedEx gold, but FedEx already there with the elite skirmishers. I think those are four dead villagers if FedEx is paying attention. He's sending the elite skirmishers right now, one shotting those villagers. That's one, two, three four going down, turns now down 18 villagers and mm, now the ramps moving forward for FedEx on the castle for Jon Snow. I think this might be GG very soon actually because Jon Snow, no TC's, no chance to get more eco up and he's gonna lose the castles here mm, sooner or later at least and yeah FedEx got a running eco, he's got the right hand side for himself, no raiding there and I'm not even sure what Jon Snow can see about uh, on the right hand side. Yeah, he knows about most of it. I think he saw the TC, he knows that there is eco. But he couldn't go through the elite skirmishers. Now he's back with the elite eagle warriors and the plumed archers. But no defense upgrade. Does it matter? Uh, no, not really. It's 3 plus, plus 2, so it's gonna be enough to only take 1 damage per arrow. But still, the amount of elite skirmishers might be enough to kill all the eagle, elite eagle warriors. And then what, what will, will Jon Snow have? He's on, down on under 40 population and the plumed archers will go down very fast. There is still a few elite eagle warriors. Actually, they're doing a good job and FedEx has to go back. But FedEx will be able to reinforce much faster. He's doing light calf. Uh, even got two knights out now. And uh, while the rams are going back, I think FedEx will strike the cast strike here very soon. Now Jon Snow going for a mill, but he still doesn't have... Uh, not sure where he does only oh, it's food for the elite eagle warriors of course and he does not have any tc so 17 villages against 75 mm, light calf now and the knights are hunting down the plumed archers and elite, uh, and, uh, elite eagle warriors and we're over one hour in the game but the way is open and the rams are going in again i think now the castle will fall and once this is down the last bit of Jon snow's eco where the main goal is out now uh, will go down as well Six idle villagers when you only have seven, oh nine idle villagers when you have seventeen. That's really not good. And uh, the army uh, was going back. There's still a little bit of army left for Jon Snow, but I th really think it's I think it's time to call TG now because he, he won't win this. And I'm going faster now, not really, but a little bit mm, because FedEx won't care about Imperial Age. He doesn't have the resources to go there, but he's got the army to counter the, the plumed archers and elite eagle warriors. A lot of elite skirmishers, 78 military units for FedEx. That's so huge. He's going not even for the castle in the base, but starting to uh, push on the forward now. One trip is out, but really you don't need it at this point. You needed rams or you need eagle wars or whatever. And now with that huge amount of uh, huge army here, the rams will be close to the castle. The first castle will fall and after that all the others, others as well. I think it's going to be in a matter of minutes uh, until it turns now. We'll call the GG. FedEx has won this game. Doing eco against one TC and he's never given up. He's moved his eco where he needed to. He was able to defend using elite skirmishers, using the, the light calf in there. And Jon Snow staying on one TC, in my opinion, a mistake. Could have worked, uh, to be honest, but uh, yeah, castle going down. And now the walls are being destroyed by FedEx, of course. He wants to go with the other castles as well. This looks like GG here. Uh, Chance now on 25 population, FedEx on 150 roughly. That's six times the amount of population here. 
And there we go. John Cho laughing at this, calling GG. He knows, oh my god, what did I do? Uh, it could have worked. It was a very entertaining game, but FedEx stayed cool, stayed calm, and managed to get enough eco, get enough army out to even compete with an Imperial Age army from the Mayans player. Of course, not fully upgraded because we don't see any sea trams in this game. We don't see the elite plumed archers. Four relics uh, managed or uh, held Jon Snow in the game. He got enough gold there, but no eco, really, no second TC or anything in a more than one hour game. Not the best idea. I hope you enjoyed this. I for sure did enjoy this game. It was very interesting to see, and I hope to see you in the next games. GG.